my name's Andy and we're gonna be doing some fitness today get it all moving jumping up and down getting ready to take the day um, a few very important things that I want to talk about before we start I'm gonna show you some things that you can use instead of weights or any equipment that we might not have um, for working out but things that we could find around the house and something very important is that whatever we take from around the house we put back where it came from so that we don't get in trouble okay another thing it is very hot this week it's been very hot lately so I want you guys to stay hydrated and even if it's not really hot it's very important to stay hydrated during exercises but even more than ever this week because it's very hot I don't want anybody passing out okay so make sure you stay hydrated um, have my water with me if you guys have it close to you you can just go whenever you need water come back or you can just have it next to you and drink whenever we have a break or when I let you guys know that it's time for a water break okay another important thing I'll show you guys um, a warm-up and a cool down please do both of them it's gonna help you so that you're not sore tomorrow or maybe you'll still be sore from working out but not too sore and also if you do the warm-up you're gonna make sure that you don't get hurt while you're exercising because sometimes you might push a little bit too much and if you didn't warm up they can stretch your muscle too much or you could get hurt and we don't want that okay um, another very important thing is you guys can push sometimes we're tired and we don't want to do it anymore and you can still push a little bit that's okay I want you guys to do as much as you can but don't push so hard that you get hurt, okay? You need to listen to your body. Um, you'll know your limits and you'll feel when you've given 100%. Don't overdo it, don't get hurt. And most importantly, have fun. It's a fitness class, we're gonna have some fun. Do what you can. There's gonna be some modifications for some of the exercises. If you guys wanna do it that way, that's okay. You can call some people from around you to come and do it with you. You can do it on your own however you want okay okay a few things that we can use around the house one of my personal favorite things to use are water bottles I have this is like my medium size weight a bigger size weight and this would be my dumbbell replacement so you can fill it up with waters water sorry water rocks sand um, anything you could use it empty but then it's kind of like not having weights um, so you will choose I'll say for whatever exercise we do I'll tell you guys if we're going high medium or low weights um, or you could choose based on how your body is feeling and how you feel more comfortable or if you want to challenge yourself yourself a little bit more but um, yeah so I just took these things from the kitchen but instead of a big water bottle you could use um, a big bag of rice sugar flour just make sure it's completely closed and sealed or in a different baggie on top of the bag that it comes in so that when you're exercising it doesn't just go all over the place um, you could use um, cans like a can of beans or corn or anything like that for the little weights or the medium um, depending on how big the can is just remember anything that you take out of the kitchen or from anywhere around the house put it back where it is so you don't get in trouble okay Make sure you get ready, know where your water is. We're gonna start with a warm up in just a second, okay? And let's have some fun. All right guys, it's time for the warm up. So if you have a jump rope or some sort of rope that you could use as a jump rope, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have it, do what I do. I'm gonna use my imaginary jump rope, okay? So we're gonna start jumping in place. You can alternate your feet and do one at a time. You can do both at the same time if you want to. You do on one side and then switch to the other side you could pretend pretend that you're doing one of those like fancy tricks that you could do with ropes and just keep jump, jumping for a little bit longer I'm just switching it up all the different ways that you could do it get your block moving up and down okay that's for um, jump rope okay now we're gonna move on to butt kicks which is you're kind of gonna kick your butt with your own leg you might not actually kick your butt but um, you can put your hand behind your butt so when you're kicking 
you're touching your hand with your heels. So we're gonna do that for a little while. Continue jumping. That for a few seconds. Get it all warmed up. Getting ready for exercise. Three, two, one. Done. Okay, shake it up a little bit. All right, we're gonna do some toe taps now. Whew, take a deep breath. And we go into toe taps. We tap. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. If this is all you can do, that's okay. You just keep going. It's just to get your muscles ready and stretched out for the workout, okay? So we're gonna do some more toe taps. Kind of carry on. Now, we're gonna move on to some swimming movements. We're gonna do like a backstroke, um, but out of the water. So we're gonna alternate our arms and we're gonna go back like we're swimming backstroke in the pool and make sure you stretch your arms, you rotate your body. Now we're gonna switch it to front crawl, okay? So same thing, this time you can pretend that you're actually swimming, go this way if you want. If you just wanna stand up and go this way, it's also okay. If you wanna switch it up to simultaneous a little bit, that's also okay, as long as we're rotating the arms. I also like to cross it back and forth a little bit too to get my arms stretched up and ready to work out. How's everybody feeling? When we're not doing something specific, we can always just jog in place while we're warming up to not lose what we already warmed up, okay? I'm gonna jog in place a little bit neck, turn it left, turn it right, now hands on your hips and we're just gonna turn to the right and lift our foot a little bit, our heel, two, rotate your sides, get that, if you want to try it like this, it works for some people too. Almost done with the warm up. Shake it up one more time. Deep breath. Now, guess what? Time to drink some water and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's get this started. So, to start off, we're gonna use the little weights. We're gonna have them down on our side. We're gonna start with regular bicep lift. So, one, two, and then we're gonna come up to our guard and punch, punch, okay? So it goes lift, lift, guard, punch, punch. That's one breath. Lift, lift, guard, punch, punch. Two reps. We're gonna do that 15 times, have a little bit of water, and come back. For the next one, we're gonna move it, switch it up to the middle weight, okay? We're gonna put our arms behind us like this. One arm, the free arm, will pull the other arm that has the weights. If the middle weight is too heavy, you can switch to the little weights or use no weight. So we're gonna go all the way up and all the way down. That on one side, we're gonna do 10 reps. So one rep is one, Two. Every time we come up, we count as a rep, okay? Then, then we're gonna switch it. It's gonna be the same thing, but opposite. Your right arm is gonna hold your left elbow like this. And we're gonna move all the way up. Hold the second when you're up there. Come back down, okay? All the way up, all the way down. Same number of reps on each side. Have a sip of water and come back okay so now we're gonna go back to the little weights okay separate your feet a little bit in a comfortable position we're gonna start off by lifting forward or right in front of us so we're gonna come all the way up all the way down and then we switch it to the side all the way up all the way down when you're up hold it for a second so you make your muscles work there okay so that whole thing is one rep up down, up, down, one, up, down, up, down, two, 
Okay, we're gonna do 12 reps. Have a little sip of water. Remember, I want you guys to stay hydrated. Don't drink a whole gallon of water every time I say drink water. Just a little sip of water and then carry on, okay? Okay, so for the next exercise, there's no weight. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna jump to the side and reach up. Then we jump to the side, reach up. Up. Every time you jump up, it's one rep. One, two, three, four, and so on. We're gonna jump 15 times. And if you don't wanna jump, and it hurts too much, or you, you're too tired, you don't like to jump, you can always step to the side, tiptoe up. Step to the side, tiptoe up. Yeah, step, step up. But same thing, we're gonna do 15 reps, sip of water, and get back to business. Okay, let's do this. Next, let's see if it happens because I'm in a very uneven surface, but I'm gonna try. For the next one, I like to call this the balance kick. So we're gonna balance on one foot and then we hold the body there. Once you get it where it's supposed to be, we're gonna kick forward, come back down, and you just tap, and then up, and tap. If you have enough balance and you wanna try to go back when you kick and then come back and tap, that's okay. If it's too hard to stay balanced, you just stay where you are and kick forward a little bit, tap, up, kick, down, tap. Every time you kick, it's one rep. And then we're gonna switch it up, same thing, find your balance first, there's no rush, then you put your guard up, and you kick, down, tap, up, kick, down, tap. If you want to add a little bit of a challenge, you can try without the, the tap. So you just go, kick, and you hold it up there, and then kick, and then you hold it up there. Okay, so give it a try. If you do the toe tap, you could do no toe tap. You could go back when you kick or just stay where you are. It all depends on your balance. Also, once you learn it and you practice, you'll get better at it and you'll be more and more able to do the little challenges. All right, we're going to do 10 kicks on each side. Have a sip of water and then we'll carry on. Okay, so for the next bit, I like to call this the walk out plan. Okay. So you can do it with or without a mat. I just do it for comfort. It's, I like using a mat. You could use a towel or you could just do it on the floor. So we're gonna come down and walk it out all the way to where we can be on a plank. And then we come down all the way up. That's gonna be one rep. So all the way down, we walk it out, stay on the plank. Come all the way up, okay? If you, wanna, if you wanna add a little bit of a challenge, you're gonna walk it down, get to the plank position, do a push up, and then come back up, okay? You could do a push up for some of them, or alternate push up, no push up, push up, no push up, or just walk it out and plank. Or if you want to, you just walk it out, walk it back up without planking. It all depends on your body. Listen to your body and do what you can. But don't be lazy. Do a little bit more, but not so much that you get hurt, okay? So we're gonna come to the ground and then quickly jump on a stand position like you get, like you're guarding for a fight. And you come back down and quick up and you switch sides. So the first time I came up like this, second time like this. So alternate and then quickly we come back to the ground and then come up. Guard. Round. Guard. Okay? We're gonna do that 10 times. All the way down, come up on your guard. And if it's too tiring to just jump every single time, you could also come slowly to the ground and then kneel up. Ground. Kneel up. Ground. Kneel up. Kneel up. All right? Got it, guys. Go get some water and come back. All right, we're almost there with learning exercises, guys. So, most of these names I'm giving you guys are not the professional 
way of calling them. I like to make up my own names for some of the exercises. Like this one, I call, I like to call it the four butt lift. Not because there's four butts, but because you're gonna make kind of, I'm gonna stand to show you. Kind of like a four with your legs, okay? But on the ground. So we make a four, we lay on the ground. Let me move my hat because it's gonna end. We lay on the ground with our hands on the side and then we're gonna lift our butt and come back down with the four and then we switch the four. So basically it's just your foot behind your knee and then you lift, come down, switch. Lift, come down, switch. Lift, come down, switch. Okay. If that is too challenging, you could also just try having your feet in this position and you just keep one leg up in the air, lift, down, alternate, lift, down, switch, lift, down, switch, okay? But give it a try with the four butt lift. It's pretty fun. And if you make it, that's good. If not, it'll be fun to try, okay? You guys are almost, almost done. All right, so you guys did it. You finished learning the exercises but it's not done. That was one rep of the circuit, all those exercises. So now the next step is to repeat the whole thing all over again. And you could do two, three, even four circuits if you feel like it. Um, you could rearrange the exercises. You could put it in an order that works better for you. If you wanna do the hardest one first and then leave the easiest ones for the end or the other way around, whatever you prefer. You are the creator and then designer now, so you're gonna choose how this is gonna work, okay? If you're gonna continue the circuits, you're gonna pause now after I'm done explaining this part and go back to the beginning so you can take a look up at the exercises if you don't remember them, or you could just do it by heart if you remember. And if you're done and you said, that's it, I've given my 100%, can't do it anymore, then you can move on to the next stage, which is gonna be the cool down, all right? Okay, so one of the best parts after working out is the sense of accomplishment. You've finished everything, but we're not quite done yet. Now we're going to do something very important, which I like to call the cool down. And this is important so that you're not as sore as you would be tomorrow if you don't do it, okay? So we're going to start off by stretching our sides a little bit. You can put your hands on your hips or on your legs stretch this part of your body five four three two one same thing here go as far as your body lets you don't push too hard but also don't stop too soon okay five four three two one now we're gonna go down try to reach your toes if you can't that's fine as long as you feel your body stretching so you'll know how much you can go. Five, four, three, two, one. Whenever you come up, make sure you come up slowly so that you don't get dizzy. Now, I'm gonna try to hold my balance and we're gonna hold our legs up and stretch our quads. Hold that position. Five, four, Want. You can have your arm up like this if it helps you um, stay balanced, like this. It doesn't help me, so for me it's easier to just stay this way. But you're going to find your center, your balance, and what works for you, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it up a little bit. Nice. Now we're going to stretch our arms, kind of like the previous exercises where we're moving it's always the goal is to stretch your arms so we're gonna hold our elbows and pull it just enough so that you can feel the stretch shake it up a little bit then switch hold it there a few seconds five four three two one now we go forward I usually like to just lock my arms like this. Some people like to hold it this way. What's important is that you don't have your shoulder all the way up. Just relax your shoulder and then you can pull it. 
five, four, three, two, one. Shake it up, same thing on the other side. Remember, we want our shoulders not like this. We want them relaxed all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, I'm gonna move to the floor and I'm gonna stretch our legs. You can sit up, you can hold your legs together. You can go down a little bit if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in. Out. We're gonna lock our fingers, open our chest, breathe again. That's it. You guys are done. Great job. Now you can get, you can go and take a nap. Maybe I don't know what activity comes next. But yeah, thank you guys. Hope you had fun.